objective number two coming through here. It is the Overlord. Ray is able to get that smite finish on there. We're going to get some kills onto the blue side. Yes, we are. Yu Huan goes down. Ray looking pretty low. Also, that is currently a 2-1 trade for the side of Moonlight. And they're not done there, kid. We are seeing Motsu take the kill. Five and it's not looking like so. Yeah, Cannon Blast going into the back line onto the Q1, so there goes a lot of sustainability for the side of Chaos, and down goes the Jong Fei, so there is the backbone, down goes their damage, which is the Byron as well. Only Lung and Lam are the last surviving members on the side of Team Chaos, and it looks like at the seventh minute mark as well. Not quite done there yet. He and taking down Kito in that clash, uh, in the farm lane, sorry, and they're still not done. That is a 2-0 trade so far. A critical crowd control of a three-man knockup there. Yeah, Unbridled Rage was missing out on the Angela there, thanks to the CC immunity from the Blazing Brilliance, but that's not going to be enough here. We see that Snow goes in. Snow does go down, thanks to the side of uh, DRS Gaming Nepal. It is Kaiser picking up the kill there, but we have minions at the Crystal, and AJ Global still have four members alive compared to the two on the side of DRS. It's not going to be looking too good for Leo Esports. Oh, yeah, well, hang on! From June as well, gets the kill onto Shuang Su. It is all pretty much over here for this team of Leo Esports. They're at the T1, but is it going to be enough for them? Ouch! Oh, Lady Chen coming in with the ultimate Emisashi into the back of the line. Gaming, we see that a good luck game is able to take that T2 up into the clash lane as well. We see the kite is pretty low. Momo is already down as well. Back to the queue is Sunset, and they take out oh the Jong Fei as well. It is another double kill going over to Sunset and Doc getting a double kill as well. So that is a team wide. For one.